Uh, hello everyone, nice uh, to meet you again in uh, this uh, video, right? And uh, in uh, today, we are going to learn the lesson Love or any other desire, sometimes not everything After reading this uh, lesson, I recognize it is so great So that's why I really want to share it with you And firstly, I will read uh, this uh, lesson for you And then I also, uh, so my opinions, how I think about this uh, lesson. Uh, subsequently, I select uh, several key words, and then I will explain uh, the minutes for you. Okay, let's start uh, learning English with me. Uh, love or any other desire sometimes not everything. Love is a priceless concept worth your sacrifice and reaching. If it's true love. But what if that love isn't what you always dreamed of? Is this worth the trade-off for many other things? Don't get so focused on just one aspect of your life that you forget about the others. Otherwise, the hurt force disappointments from it can touch cover your mind and paralyze your interest in everything else that is lovely, sometimes much more deserving. A mutual guy with a very beautiful and poetic first love. He is an intelligent, well-educated, qualified, good worker, and always knows how to say with others. His lover is a beautiful and graceful girl. Their love is so romantic, dreamy as the seven colors of rainbow. After two years, the relationship broke down. The world around him suddenly turned black when there was no longer a shimmering prism of love. He is no longer wise to analyze the cause. He is not brave enough to admit that time and matter can change people. He broke down, tormented, blamed himself, and ignored the sincere advice of friends and relatives. He no longer believes in himself, in his favorite job, in future, and abandons his previous dreams and ambitions, just because the love he was worshipped and the secret wish was gone. As such, don't pin all your expectations on getting promoted that can ruin your happy life because of her lack of progress at work, nor idealizing your relationship with someone and then feel as life is possible just because the relationship becomes strained? You should build your hopes on the things that are really important to you and should enjoy many different kinds of happiness rather than letting yourself fall by just clinging to a buoy. Even those you think is important, but actually it is very fragile, it is right. And in here, you need to notice about the words this Buoy, you also can pronounce boy, yeah. Clinging to a buoy or clinging to a boy, yeah. Okay, and now I want to share with you my opinion for this lesson. Uh, yeah, I'm, yeah, after reading this lesson, uh, I have one kind of feeling that I'm so happy and I also recognize about the um, uh, true uh, purpose of this life and I absolutely agree with uh, this lesson. Uh, we should not do only our love right just for only one uh, person, such as for our girlfriends, because we do not know uh, in the future, right? If we do only our love for only one person, right? And in the future, something changed, right? And our, our girlfriend said goodbye to us, or she passed away, right? So I think at the time, you um, break down so much, so she cannot recover, us, and with some uh, uh, people, uh, they have a stupid decision that uh, they suicide. Yeah, it is so desperate. So, in my opinion, I think we should uh, split our love, right, for many people. Yeah, of course, we also love our girlfriends, but in that, you also need to spend your love for your family members, for your relatives, for your friends, right? And in uh, working, you should not only you all of your power and all of your love for only one work, right? 
yeah, we also need to spend that love for other things, uh, such as uh, playing a sports or at the weekend, right? Uh, going to some uh, beautiful places in your hometown to drink coffee, to talk to your friend. Because we do not know in the future if you use all of your powers, right, uh, for working. And you expect that, that in short time, around two or three years, you can uh, get uh, um, uh, on uh, position in uh, the companies, right, uh, you uh, really want to get. But um, if that expectation, right, uh, cannot risk, so I think uh, you will have one kind of a feeling that's like uh, uh, for everything in uh, this life, it is um, possible to you and uh, for some people, right? And they also have a stupid uh, decision that uh, uh, they um, leave everything. Yeah, they uh, say goodbye to their job, right? And they do not do anything. And they are drunk, drink so much beer or alcohol. And then uh, they damage uh, their life and also their career. So in my opinion, of course, we also work hard, right? And um, also love our work. But uh, we also need to spend our time, right, for all the hobbies, yeah. And uh, we also uh, should I think that uh, perhaps in the future, uh, in working, right, everything uh, does not happen as our expectation, right? We, we cannot get the position uh, we uh, dream, right? But you should accept about that and uh, should not think it is uh, only in your life because you still have other things to care, right? to chat about your friends, about your family members, and everything else, yeah. Okay, it is my opinion for this lesson, and how do you think about this lesson? Uh, please uh, share to it. Now we are going to learn uh, the meaning of several keywords, yeah, of course, uh, selected by me. Uh, for the first uh, phrase, or, yeah, for the first uh, phrase, I want to share with you, uh, trade off, it is uh, a phrase or verb, right? And here, uh, the meaning in uh, Vietnamese. Trade up, uh, it means to balance two things or situations that are opposed to each other. And we have on example, uh, they were attempting to trade up inflation against unemployment. So through this uh, sentence, you understand that uh, for this uh, group, right? Yeah, of course, uh, they are officials of the government, right? So they trade up, uh, uh, they, um, they are attempt, uh, attempting, right? Like uh, they uh, are trying to establish uh, the new regulation, right? And uh, for that new regulation, uh, can uh, reduce uh, inflation, but that also cause to increase the percentage of uh, unemployment, right? But they trade off. Yeah, and that's about the meaning of this uh, sentence. And for the second verse, uh, paralyze. Yeah, for this word, you need to stress the first syllable pa. Okay, paralyze. Or you also can pronounce uh, paralyze. It is okay. Yeah. And for me, sometimes I pronounce the word of paralyze and sometimes paralyzed. Yeah, but I do not care so much about that. Okay. Paralyze is mean to make uh, somebody unable to feel or move all or part of their body. Yeah. And we have on example. He was uh, partially paralyzed by the phone. Yeah. So in this um, sentence, you understand for this uh, man, right? Uh, just uh, partially uh, of his uh, body, uh, to chat about his hand or his leg right? uh, cannot move, right? Yeah, because of that uh, fall. Yeah. So I think uh, for that fall, it was uh, so dangerous. So that's why uh, a part of uh, his body, right, uh, can move uh, to chat. Uh, the hands or the legs, okay. And for the next word, uh, mature, yeah, and for this word, you need to stress the second syllable, tour, okay, mature, yeah. Yeah, when we use the word mature, right, uh, for a person, a tree, a bird, or an animal, it means fully grown and developed, yeah, this means about the word mature, okay. We have on example, she tried to look mature, and sophisticated, yeah. She tries to look mature and sophisticated. And in this sentence, firstly, you need to understand the word uh, sophisticated, right? Sophisticated is mean um, you have um, a lot of experience. 
um, which uh, related to the knowledge of uh, fashion and uh, culture. Yeah. But in here we understand, right? For this girl, she was not mature and sophisticated, but she just pretend, right? Uh, to look uh, mature and sophisticated. Okay. And we have another word, uh, admit. Yeah, for this word, you need to uh, stress the second syllable. Admit. Okay. Admit. Yeah. And here's the meaning in Vietnamese, right? Um, admit. It means to agree often unwillingly that something is true and we have on the same problem it was a stupid thing to do i admit yeah i think you can uh, do this uh, sentence is the case that if you if you had uh, driven uh, the car so quickly right and that's called one uh, serious uh, accident yeah so you say it was a stupid thing uh, i do i admit yeah uh, and uh, for the final word uh, we need to understand uh, the word uh, ruin and for this word, you need to stress the first syllable, right? Ru, yeah, ruin. And here, the meaning in Vietnamese, actually for this word, it is the same meaning with the word um, destroy or damage. Ruin, it means to damage something so badly that it loses all its value, pleasure, etc. And we have one example. The bad weather ruined our strip. Yeah. Uh, for you, right? Uh, you already have our... She already had on a plan with your family, right? At the weekend of this week, uh, you and your friend uh, uh, will go to um, one uh, beautiful uh, place in your hometown, right? To visit and uh, also uh, to have a uh, lunch at that place, right? But because the, the weather was so bad, right? So it uh, ruined uh, your trip, yeah, your trip with your family. Okay. Uh, uh, thanks for watching and hopefully see you like this uh, video and see you in next video in uh, learning English with me and bye bye